Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Caldwell and I will be your instructor for CSIS 2200. This is an online course that we'll be doing for the, the fall of 2020 and everything will be conducted in what they refer to as a, uh, an asynchronous mode, which means that there's not going to be a fixed time for the lectures, which are going to be recorded here in a video format. And then you can look at them whenever you want. Although there will be a, an assigned time for assessments, your quizzes and your midterm final. So that'll happen on Fridays at 12.30 until 3.30, approximately, depends on, I'll get into more details on that later. So what I want to do to start off here is go through my course outline and how this course is going to be run and uh, conducted. So hopefully there won't be that many questions. So I'll be providing a lot of videos in this series. So it really helps if you um, watch them all. I would encourage you to subscribe. I'm going to be posting these on YouTube. So go ahead and uh, subscribe. That way, if there's a new video that comes out, you won't miss anything. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up. Uh, this is the Blackboard course. So the course, the main page for this and this course might look somewhat different than yours um, because as an instructor I'll get more features. Uh, the course information might change slightly from the time of the recording of this. So anyways I just want to make sure that you've got that, um, that uh, that's understood. Alright so to get started here uh, the course is the, the CSIS 2200. This is a section here called 090. This is the actual CRN number. So that's when you log into this course, and if you're registered in the course, you will see this. Uh, the first link at the top here is the course outline. Now, at the time of the recording, that's what it is, but you might have one here called the AI module. That's the Academic Integrity module that I'm going to ask students to complete for this course. All right, now to go through this um, course outline, I embed a lot of links. So I'm going to start off with the course itself the CSIS 2200 now as you click on this this is the official Douglas College curriculum guideline of what we're supposed to deliver so this entitles kind of the framework by which we run this course so the whole idea behind this course is that it, it's called a systems analysis and design it's more now of a managing information systems course uh, which is kind of the evolution of a systems analysis and design course so the course provides an introduction to information systems analysis techniques. The students will be provided with the skills that are necessary for the analysis and design of information systems and will apply their skills in a step-by-step -step manner leading to the recognition of a problem, uh, to the implementation of a solution to a case study, in inferring that this is going to be more of a case-based uh, course looking at uh, computer systems. Now, the older course was more of a, how do you design a system? But because we have a lot of business students, accounting, marketing, et cetera, uh, we've modified the course to be more in line and more practical for students like that to go into the information systems and how they're, all the different facets, how they're organized, rather than the actual construction of building a system, which would be more for a computer programmer in that case. So the course, you should be spending a minimum of about four hours per week in the lecture times. Now that's watching videos, that's watching the, the online course material, uh, studying and getting ready for the assessments. Uh, it's a total of 15 weeks, uh, which starts this year, September the 8th, uh, which is a very late start. We lost a week, I guess. Um, anyway, and then all, these are all the different uh, programs that students are coming from. So you can see there's a, a wide variety of different uh, students that come into this course. This is a, a very core course and it, it applies to so many students in so many different areas. It's an essential type of course. It could be one of the most important courses actually you take for practicality when you go into your job environment because this course is going to hopefully give you guys a solid foundation with all the computer systems that you're going to be using to run and use your in your job. Now they're going to change over time and there's going to be a lot of them. 
So the one of the key goals in this course is to introduce you to systems ha that have to do with it, computer uh, technology, with data analytics, with the accounting area, with uh, computer programming, uh, project management, supply chain, etc. All these different programs have information systems, and that's what we're trying to do. So I won't go through the details of the course uh, outline and the and the objectives here or the co course content. I'll let you guys go through that. But basically, we've got ch 12 chapters that we're going to go through, and we're going to cover most, if not all, this in a lot of detail. And that's that's the goal. And our course content will be the same. So we'll talk about this uh, in a lot of detail and give you a stronger knowledge about what, what's actually entitled in this course. All right, now the, the textbook for this is posted on my site, but this is the one that they had in the course outline at the time, but they had it or suggested by the instructor. And um, I'm going to use the newer version of this one for this course, and I'll go through that later. Now, how are you going to get a mark in this course? This is the guidelines so I can... I can create my course to have assignments and a term project somewhere between 10 to 20 percent, an oral presentation, which you, I'm going to have you guys do, but it's going to be in an online format in a form of a YouTube video. It's only a five minute YouTube video you're going to produce for an oral presentation for that. There's going to be um, several quizzes. There's going to be a quiz for actually each chapter, and then we're going to have a summative test for a midterm and for the final. All right, so that's the course outline uh, officially. Now, I take that course and I, I modify it for mine. So that's this one here. Now, the course um, overview videos. Now, this one here, I'm going to set up to my YouTube channel. And currently, I haven't, at the time of the recording, I haven't actually got anything in here. I usually record several lectures for my courses. It's post them up there that way students can watch them at their leisure and they can re-watch them if they need to going over the materials so this I've got a YouTube channel set up specifically for this course so you that link right here will take you to these videos now the delivery format like I said will be online all right so the delivery format again is online and I like I said it's in an asynchronized mode which means uh, it's not synchronized, meaning that you take it online with an online class, like a Teams meeting, and everybody comes up and they, they show up. I post my videos online, and you can watch them when you want, and you can respond to when you want. I do have dates when your um, quizzes and things are due, but the, the way that the course is, it's online, and you can watch it when you want. All right, so this is you guys. You are fall 2020 section number 090. Now, the quizzes and the assessments for this course are gonna happen on Fridays. So Fridays from 12.30 until 1.30, so you have an hour. So what you're gonna have to do is set up a reminder so that it beeps you and reminds you that you have to take an online quiz uh, between that time. Now, the quizzes are about 10 minutes, so you've got an hour of time to come in and write that quiz and it's for Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you do that when you get in before the time expires. All right, again, my name is Ryan Caldwell and this is my email address that you guys can send me an email. It would help if you were sending it from your student.douglascollars.ca account, but I think uh, your Gmail accounts and that stuff still work. I probably will be responding to you guys through your Douglas College account, so you might wanna make sure that that's set up properly. All right, now, like I said, the, my office hours uh, probably be available Fridays because I like to be around for these quizzes because in case there's any concerns. So I usually have, I'm always on the computer. I'm at the computer a lot. So if you send me an email, I, I, I usually respond to it right away. So when it comes to office hours, you can, yeah, Saturday, Sundays, I, I, at all times, I'm, I'm on, on the computer a lot. Anyway, the, there is no office hour, so we're just gonna do stuff using email. All right, now here's the textbook right here. This is the edition, and I've posted up how to access this particular one. So when you click on that link there, it goes through on how do you access my course, which is gonna happen on September the 8th of 2020, which you guys are probably watching it on that day or a little after, and explains, well, what is this online book? This is the textbook that we're gonna use, and I'll have a separate video to show you how to actually uh, do this and access this book. Now, 
unfortunately, you know, these books cost a lot. And this one here, um, I was able to negotiate through um, the bookstore. And I believe they're going to be uh, publishing it for $99.95. I know it's expensive. Um, so it's just what it is. Uh, I can't I look for other books that were cheaper. I couldn't really find one. But anyway, have a look at that. Now, the, the login for the system, now because it's an ebook, you will have to cl click on this login. And again, you can type in your email address and register it, whoever or whatever email address that you wish and log into the system. All right, so I'm going to do that. Let's see here. I will connect and we'll open up the online ebook and their learning environment. So it, it gives me to a, this landing page. Now that's the instructors. Your page will look much different than this, but you will get something that has something like Douglas College, CSIS 2200, MindTap for fall 2020. And when you click on that, you'll be accessing the course material. And this is what you're going to use to do your reading and, and go through all the materials. So at the time of the recording of this one, I've started building up all the chapters. So there's going to be 12 chapters in the textbook that we're going to go through over 12 weeks of class times for this. And I'll go through all the details of this one in an, another video. All right, so getting back on track, how is the course actually scheduled? So the, I've written this down from re week one to week 14 and starting off with September the 7th, which actually is a holiday, but so we actually start classes on the 8th and it, that week ends on the Sunday, September the 13th. So what do you have to do during that first week? Well, you're gonna be watching this course outline, which you're doing right now, and you're gonna to have to do some setup. Now setup means you have to go to the uh, link up here. That's one setup. Another setup I'm gonna ask you guys to do is set up your Microsoft Office. Another one you're gonna set up is your OneDrive if you haven't done that already. Another one you're gonna set up is the LinkedIn account. So there's a few different systems that you're gonna to have to connect to, which are kind of very relevant to the course as this is a managing information systems and you're gonna be hooking up to several different systems on the first week. There's no quiz due on the first week and there's no assignments, not, none of that kind of stuff, but you will have to go through and read chapter one and get familiar with the um, information systems. And then of course, watch my videos. So I will be producing videos as well that you guys should um, watch to, to uh, complement, I guess, the chapter one. All right, hope that makes sense. And then we're gonna move on to chapter number, uh, week number two, which starts on the 14th to the 20th. And we just keep working our way through the textbook. Chapter number two, we're gonna talk about machines. Uh, that's the hardware aspect, machines behind computing. Like how does the machines work? What are the components? How do you put them together? How do they work? What kind of machines are you gonna see in the office? That kind of thing. And then during that week, you will be responsible for taking a quiz. Now quiz number one will be based strictly on chapter number one. So you've got about a week to study and read and prepare. And that quiz you're gonna be doing will be on a Friday. And again, like I said earlier, it's gonna be from 12.30 to 1.30. You'll have to log in and conduct. That's the only time the quiz is available. And quizzes, unfortunately, are not, um, you can't make them up. So if you miss it, you miss it. Um, that's how it works. So if you don't come to class kind of thing, you just, you miss out. If you're sick for some reason, uh, there's no rewrites on quizzes since they're only worth one mark each. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna miss a, like a midterm or a final, you would need a letter for that, but we'll get into that later. The other thing during this week is by that time, I'm hoping that you will have completed your LinkedIn learning or your LinkedIn account profile, also your Microsoft and installed all the Microsoft Office products that you're going to need for this course. And again, I'll go through videos for those as well later. All right, moving on to the next one here, uh, chapter three, we're going to get into databases and it, you can see it starts to repeat. You have a quiz to do that week for ch chapter two, which is from the previous week and so on. Chapter four, five, all the way down through. Now, when the week number of October the 19th to 25th, where you're responsible for learning a new chapter, um, which is internet, the intranet and extranet, but, and you're also gonna be responsible for a quiz. And again, these quizzes are just 10 minutes long. They're multiple choice. And they're to summarize the information you learned from the previous chapter. 
or from, from the chapter, I should say. Now, you're going to be given time uh, up to an hour to log into that system and, and write the quiz. Once you've written that quiz, you then have to complete the midterm. Now, the midterm, you're going to be given approximately one and a half hours to complete. And it'll be just after the times. You'll see here on Fridays at 1.30, it'll start. You can log in. And you'll have a two-hour window to log into the midterm to complete that one and a half hour midterm. And it's going to be a mix between multiple choice questions and also short answers. I'm going to be asking you to explain concepts. Um, and all of this is going to be done through what they call a lockdown browser, which means that these quizzes are going to be done you know, at home, uh, wherever you guys are. And you're going to be hooked up to a, a particular web browser that can, you cannot leave. And the reason we do that is because we want to uh, verify or vet your, your knowledge, make sure that everybody is just providing information that they, that they got from their reading and what they currently retain in their brains. So we don't want you to go on the internet and be searching and looking stuff up because that wouldn't be fair and it wouldn't really give us a, a fair assessment of your knowledge of the course. So we lock everything down. And again, I'll explain that in more detail coming up. All right, so you get the idea for the rest of this, okay? It comes through and explains the, the rest of the chapters. And then finally, in the last week, we're gonna be doing the online presentations. Uh, this is gonna be done using YouTube. So I'll be going through a video explaining how you do these videos like I'm doing right now. And you're gonna be giving a, pre a short five minute presentation on a some kind of managing information system that you select, that you wanna pursue in your own career. All right, and then finally, um, we've got a choice for the final exam. We've got time, and I'm kind of thinking we could stay in the same mode since we'll be in this mode of Fridays, and we could just get the, the final exam over on December the 4th. If, um, if we don't do December the 4th, uh, there might be another day, which I think is December the 13th or the 18th. I can't remember. So it'll push off the exam quite late uh, if we don't do it on the 4th. So we could talk uh, and address any concerns as the course progresses. All right, so the course description, which I've already read off, you guys can uh, go through that. Now, the assessment. This is one I wanna go through and explain carefully about how you're gonna get an A in this course. Well, to get an A, there's gonna be some assignments work that's gonna be required. There's gonna be quizzes. There's gonna be presentations. There's gonna be some midterms, a midterm and a final. Okay, so going through the assignments. The way that I'm gonna conduct this course this term is I'm going to get students to complete uh, 15 short LinkedIn courses. Now, that's why up, up top here, I want you to have a LinkedIn profile. Partly because we're going to be talking about jobs and building your career and getting you guys ready uh, for your career. And this is an early course. A lot of students take this course in their first or second semester in, in their education. And I think it's very important that students have a LinkedIn profile. Now, some of you might already have one. That's great. You can use that profile. You can just build on it. Now, once you get your profile started and starting to build it, you can link it with me and then connect with me as an instructor and all of your other instructors as well. So once uh, you've done that, you can start taking these LinkedIn courses. We uh, have at Douglas College an enterprise version of LinkedIn Learning. And you can go through and take all sorts of courses and these courses are short they're like an hour hour and a half long and they're basically a, a summarization of the topics so the reason I have 15 short courses is because it works out for the marks each course you take is gonna be one worth one mark I know it sounds very small but these are only like an hour and a half courses and they're on topic so the one I'm gonna be recommending for you guys has to do with topics we're gonna to be dealing with in the first week, information systems, specifically around Microsoft Office 365. And each of these chapters, like hardware, uh, there's gonna be a, a LinkedIn learning course that you're gonna take for, for um, learning about computer hardware, terminology, that sort of stuff. And within each of these courses, they have a short assessment. So you have to go through the course, listen carefully, answer questions before it proceeds. So you do have to be engaged. The nice thing about the, these courses is that when you complete them successfully, they add them to your LinkedIn profile as a certificate that you've taken. 
Now, what that does is in the future, when a future employer looks at your LinkedIn profile, they'll see that you've taken 15 short LinkedIn courses, all on topics like these. And trust me, employers really like this. They like to see that you're, you're actively engaged in relevant learning. The other thing I've been getting from students that have, have completed this with me in other classes is that they really enjoy how many different LinkedIn learning courses apply to their other courses. If you're taking a programming course, a marketing course, some kind of business course, there's literally hundreds if not thousands of courses on LinkedIn learning that you guys have full access. You guys have full access of LinkedIn learning courses, which, is, which normally costs about $25 per month. As a Douglas College student in, in your tuitions, the college pays for that. So I want to utilize that. It's kind of like Netflix for education. All right, I'll get into more of that in another video. But I want to explain that. You get 15 um, courses and you're going to have 12 in mind and then I'm going to get you guys to select three of your own to specialize with your own topic area, whatever area that you're interested in. All right, now quizzes are worth 20%. Now, that 20%, now there's a typo here. I think this is, each quiz is worth 1.6667 for each quiz. It's just how it worked out because there's 12 um, quizzes. These are 10 minutes. They're all multiple choice, uh, you know, quiz with, you know, and there's one for each chapter. And that's what, what, what I was talking about here. So there's 12 of them. So that's the 12 short quizzes 10 minutes each and then I give about 1.667 percent per quiz which totals up to 20 percent for your overall mark so if you do happen to miss a quiz I do I mean it's it's only worth 1.67 if you averaged it out per quiz the reason I do a lot of micro quizzes like this is it keeps students engaged so you have to read the chapter and the next week you have to answer the quiz you have to read the chapter and that do the quiz. So I'm, I'm constantly assessing your knowledge as we progress. And then we get down to the midterm. I'll skip over presentation for a moment here. So during the midterm, I've broken it down. So it's um, it's right in, oh, and that there's a typo there. I'll fix this on yours. You'll probably see it already fixed. It'll, it's chapter one to six, and then it'll be seven to 12. The old book had 14 chapters and I've taken two chapters out from in this course because it used to go to 14. So anyway, I split it in half. Now the, 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 the midterm is based on multiple choice questions and short answers. So it's about 50-50, about half of this will be reassessing your knowledge that you, you did with the quizzes, which is the multiple choice, very, very similar type of questions. They're not the same question, but similar. But the short answers will be asking you, I usually ask one or two questions Per chapter so you might have six or you might have 12 short answer questions to answer I'll ask you for your thoughts and explanation of a particular concept so you might have to explain it in a couple of sentences two or three sentences explain a particular concept what do you know about it it'll be something that we talked about in the videos something that you would have got in the textbook and even something you would have got in these LinkedIn learning courses so you, you would be fully exposed to the concepts in the course and all I want to do is have you write down your concept of what it is. All right and again I'll get into that in more detail as we progress through the course. All right moving on the learning objectives and again I'm going to let you guys read through those because I, I that would be very boring for all of you and the the resources here now these are just some additional resources this is the um, the course now that I'll probably take this out actually because you don't you won't have a need for any of this I'll probably take that out. The only one is the LinkedIn Learning, which I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put up here as a LinkedIn Learning option up here. So I'll explain that later. So the best practice for this is really it's uh, well face to face in class. You know, come to class. This is I have to change that. That's from a, the old course outline. But you really need to book your time. You know, set up an alarm system and just hit hit the stuff on a regular basis each uh, each day for an hour, two hours, or a, a few hours, a couple times a week to get through the materials. Um, so I'll let you read through this. Uh, you, storing your, your all your files and all your information, I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, I put it in my course outline. What I do want to, to emphasize here 
is, well, the workload I've kind of explained, it's going to take you about five to 10 hours per week. That's what you should be budgeting for this course. There is quite a bit of materials in this course to get through and to remember. So definitely try to budget yourself between five to 10 hours per week on average. Um, the assignments, well, since the assignments in this course are going to be uh, the LinkedIn Learning um, courses, there won't be any direct assignments that will be late. If you are, uh, if you miss a quiz, quizzes will not be made up. So they're only worth 1.67% anyways, but still, if you do miss your midterm, uh, you will need a medical, not just a note, actually they changed the wording here to medical letter. So you need a letter from the doctor if you, so, and that has to be sent and then verified by the office before a new exam time would be scheduled. Then I have to write another exam, um, which would be different than the, the exam the students had in, in your class. So try to do that. Attendance and participation, well, that's gonna be up to you guys since it's an asynchronous. This one right here is probably one of the biggest ones we have to talk about and that is plagiarism and cheating. All right, so with plagiarism and cheating, what's really um, important to keep in mind here is that you know it would be easy to get online during a quiz, look up an answer, and whatnot. So what I'm doing, going to hope you guys do is you know don't do this. It's uh, I think a lot of students um, at Douglas College have to take a course now called the Academic Integrity. Um, evaluation a module. This is for all new students. Some of you might have already taken that already. I will also be posting another academic integrity module in this course that you guys are going to have to take. Just make sure that you're fully aware of that prior to taking the course. Um, if you are sharing information with other students and, and it is detected that both students, regardless of who owns the materials, would get zero. All right. So anyways, that is sort of a summary of my course outline. And I want to keep this down to 30 minutes, which is getting pretty close. So if, uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, um, hopefully I'll answer them in another video. If not, you guys can send me an email and I will do my best to get back to you. All right, I'll see you in the next video.